probably wrong or really dominate the early game in the LPL. This is a pick that's very hard to execute because, again, you're not a jungler like like a Lee Sin or a, a Lee or Jarvin. We're louder on the IGs and come on, Sudik. I love to hear those Jios, so, you know, got to stop the point and let the fans get their voice I'm heard. I'm glad. Hey, we got it back. You know, there was about a week where we lost our fans who, who were obviously sitting at home, self-isolating, and uh, sending in their love for their team. I know, and that was the cool thing about week two when we came back at the end of the week is yeah. we saw Peel doing that. A bit of a pump up. All right. Into Summoner's Rift here for game two. Now, we've recovered. We've come back to it. But I want to note as well, with the Jace in the mid lane, Puff has decided to go full Lethality Varus with the Comet in hand. Yep. Puff going towards the Lethality Varus. It is pretty good. Sooning don't have like a really big, beefy front line. They only do have that Renekton coming out that will get a bit tanky. So you have a lot of options. And you are going more towards the poke comp. You do have Nidalee, Jace, and the Varus. The other cool thing to note is Rookie does like going airy Jace in the mid lane. In mid, you typically see two options where it's either the airy or the Conqueror. Conqueror a lot more for these extended skirmishes and team fights later in the game. Airy a lot more focused on lane. Okay, airy for Angel here as well, to be noted. And apart from that, lethal tempo on the bottom lane for Huan Fong, who's going to ch check this one himself. But Lei Yen has been spotted on a ward, so no level two gank here to start off the game for IG. Going back to our point before, we were talking about the Nidalee. This is a hard champion to execute because you don't have any setup yourself. You are very much just full damage, also very squishy. So if you don't land your spears, you don't really have much of an impact in a fight. So it is very much a confidence pick. Ooh, rookie hit two first in this mid lane, though. Look at that. Shock Blast combo connects. And the airy trade we've been talking about coming up big here. But Rookie traded through the minion wave by the minions itself. And this is also what we talked about for the Shy's lane and top. You are going to be able to abuse that level one Flame Spitter plus Comet duo. Is going to have pressure throughout this lane. And again, Leyen gets to do what he wants. He has two of his soul laners winning. Can just path up the top side and feel very comfortable in the state of this game. Full top side jungle to clear there as well. While on the bottom side, SOFM committing after clearing that bot. And also has Rookie to come in on. Look at the gap though. He has to bridge. Rookie does the damage to Angel. Sonic Wave dodged away from. And although Rookie was bullied out towards the mid game, the early game going like last time where Rookie is dodging the 2v1. This is why Rookie is so great with these winning matchups because he is so mechanically skilled at dodging these games. We saw him dodge the Sonic Wave. Leian was waiting in the wings regardless. Yeah. But going to the other side, it's always great to see how Angel and SOFM work together this split because it felt like that synergy on Sooning was really missing last year with Weiwei in the jungle. Yeah, and SOFM has just been consistent across the board, like Angel in a way. I'm going to pause because Leian towards his top side snuck in sneakily, but been here with the engage of Flash with the Sonic Wave and the Resonating Strike to connect. The Cripple's there, but the Spear lands onto SOFM. The turnaround in time, no. First Blood goes over to Bin while Zoe comes up as well. And Leian, one versus three, he's dead too. Sooning using teamwork to execute that play onto the Shine Leian. A really interesting mechanical play coming out from SOFM at first. Bin being very decisive, flashing in to secure that kill. And Angel surprising the two of us, at turning out to be there and use that heal to save him. It's amazing how the shove-in wave that we were just watching on camera from SOFM had that ripple effect at the top side as Rookie says, OK, I'll take in the bottom lane. It's double flash from the bottom lane duo as the piercing arrow secures the first kill for IG. This was just a very disrespectful back placing from the side of Sooning. Mm. We saw Angel go up to top. Rookie pushed out the wave mid, disappeared on the mini-map. Sooning should realize the possibility that Rookie can head towards bot side. First kill goes over to the bottom lane while two kills traded in the top side. And I guess a welcome back for Bin here as we'll see how this first flood came about. Just the Shy abusing his matchup, using that Flame Spitter and combo. Good flash Q coming out from SOFM. Looks like he was saving to see if he could get him in range of that execution damage. Then here, Angel massively surprising us with that heal. And SOFM just really on point with these skill shots. Angel's well with the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. I love that the heal comes through as well. It was actually Angel summoners that he used in that trade too. So with the first couple of kills going across the board, Bin, Angel, both expended their summoner spells. And teleport is now going to be used by Bin here. So nothing available for these solo lanes. 
Wave was in a very awkward position for Sooning, so sure. the Shy was able to force it under tower, making Bin use TP, and making sure he doesn't fall too far behind right now, being about 8 to 10 CS down, depending on what the wave state is. Yep, as you'd expect. I mean, the Shy winning lane once again against a different top laner, even after the trade came through. Uh, Rookie doing the same, but only 10 CS lead here over Angel. But remember, Angel got that assist as well, so meaningful gold on the side of Sooning in this early game. And we see Sordar right now leaving bot lane, making his roam towards mid, trying to abuse some of those mistakes we saw from Rookie last game. Ben looking for the all-in, though. Look at the size of the minion wave, too. The Shy Ooh. overheats, and he's out of it. Good pressure coming out from SOFM as well, making sure he's here in conjunction with the pressure from Bin. Ooh, he face checks the brush. Was that the right idea? SOFM looking to go in. The flash over the wall. A mistake made by Sooning's jungler as the one-on-one -on -one in the mid lane comes through. Angel is going to be shock blasted here as Equalizer in the top lane. We're still watching Rookie though, because Angel now has to dodge this next blast. But it's point blank and he's dead too, alongside with Bin in the top lane. It's all gone topsy-turvy. For Sooning. Sooning just completely miscoordinating that play. SOFM wanting to go in while Bin's trying to push in his wave and come around from the opposite side of the tower. Does end up with SOFM getting picked off before Bin can get there and leaves Angel in a really awkward position where he, he feels like, hmm, do I cover for my team? Do I stay mid? If I cover for my team, this guy can kill me. That <laughs> still goes to cover <laughs> for his team. And guess what? It ain't Rookie. the same as last time, yeah. yeah. Rookie kills him, so... And that's the first kill for Rookie of this game. Plus, he has a CS lead. Now, SOFM trying to get something through mid. Rookie doesn't have enough matter. SOFM won't be able to get the Sonic Wave through the minion wave. So instead goes for the invade. So at least they're able to push the IG jungler back. But he's still going to be ahead. And Leian's still looking to contest. This game also a lot more competitive than we saw in game one when yep. IG just had those hard winning lanes. The lanes aren't the lanes aren't as drastic this time around, and Sooning are finding a lot of options to play around with this Lee Sin. Because SOFM has been really aggressive here in the early game. Now going for the red buff invade, but the blast code taken. Layan will pick up his red buff, and he still has that level advantage over SOFM. Sooning starting this dragon, having first move from mid and bot lane. Trouble bubble land, so Angel does have himself a challenging smite, and Layan oh. gets challenged, but chains of corruption for the counter engage. That's when flash forward, the heal comes through, but Rookie has now cornered them off there on the wrong side of Summoner's Rift. Sword Art will die along with his jungler, and it's just going so wrong. Bin going in for the engage as he thought the Shy was going to overheat the Dominus there. As meanwhile, a double kill goes over. Uh, Bin. I don't know. Dominus is still there, but I think the Shy is going to follow this up. I think that Flame Spitter might turn you to a crisp. And we're looking top because the fight bottoms over, and IG won it. Sooning at first having a beautiful chain CC landing onto Leyen, making a think they'd come out on top, but they all separated from Huanfeng, and they're all just trapped between the remaining members of IG. Of course, Rookie just coming off a of back with full health. Puff being full health as well with that serrated Dirk, which is yep. very easy for them to kind of sandwich Sooning and pick up another few kills. And we're seeing decisiveness from the bottom side of the map as well, where Puff goes, I can take this play, flashes forward into it. And we're going to see it here where Angel was like, I got the pick, I got the jungler, and Sooning did have him. Angel abusing the vision, landing Sleepy Trouble Bubble, deleting them. But as we said, right now IG are full HP, Rookie coming off a of base, also full HP, Southwind being able to protect Puff, and Huan Fong being left to tank the dragon by himself, and that's pretty much all their consistent damage missing. And he just walks back to lane. He's like, I'm not dealing with this, guys. What the heck is going on? Because again, let's come back to the story we kind of put for this one. While we did talk a lot about Angel versus Rookie, we also mentioned that Sooning, in a way, sometimes do feel like a, a very sloppy IG. And we got a nice taste of it there with the three kills going down bot. We did. These teams are very similar in the sense that they continuously will push forward and not really back down from a fight. Yeah. We do typically see IG come out on top because of the players they have. But again, Sooning have very similar star power in people like Sword Art, people like Ooh. Um Yeah, that's a flash forward. Angel is ticking down the Ignite. And that is a confidence play from the world champion mid laner. We built up Angel this game to be comparable to Rookie, but Rookie is still showing him, hey, I'm in a, I am a world champion. I'm in a class of my own. Even though we've called him erratic, that's the point where you say erratic, good. Here for Rookie in the mid lane, IG, the Herald will not get the mid lane turret, but across the map, 
There is such a big goal leader now. The flash forward engage. The 1v2 into Puff. He's immobile. He's a virus. And he can't get the first down. So trade kill here for Sunny while the mid lane. SOFM sticking around a bit too long. Rookie's ready to blast him. And blast him he shall if he sticks around. But meanwhile, the shove nets the turret. And it's first turret blood here for IG again. Southwind started making his way towards the mid lane, which left Puff vulnerable to that all-in from Suning's bot lane. So Suning did find a pick, which is pretty good, but... This he, is you. Yeah, here we see it. Just, ooh, amazing <laughs> decisive flash coming yeah. out from Rookie. We didn't expect it. Angel didn't expect it. And just so much damage coming out from the Jace. And called it a confidence play. That's what it was from Rookie, who now has his first item. But meanwhile, on the top lane, Bin's like, I need to dominus. There's two people here. Somebody help me. Using the Dominus, but gets out fine. The interesting thing to me is seeing Rookie rush this Executioner's Calling. Yeah. Because we don't really see much sustain coming out from the side of Sooning. Angel does, of course, have the heal and can pick up things like the Redemption, but... It's pretty, pretty big question mark. Yeah. I agree with that one. All right, look, he's got his first item, so we'll slide that one into the back pocket, I guess. Uh, Zonya's Hourglass in the making here for Angel. He's suffering that much that the Seeker's Armor God is held in inventory right now. As Sooning around the bottom side. Yeah, they can't face check like that. Lei Yen dodges away from Sword Art. And we just keep swapping cameras because it's chaos across Summoner's Rift right now. Sooning still behind 4,000 gold. And they're getting challenged in all of these lanes. The Equalizer used to clear out the way. We're getting to a point where Rumble can't contest Renekton in this 1v1 and you pretty much will just be on wave clear duty. But it is the Shy, so we, we will see constant uh -oh. trading in the top lane. Spear lands on the sword art. He has to disappear. The piercing arrow would have killed him. But look at this. Southwind hits it backwards because he's like, I know you're going to die. Now SOFM with the kick forward. The flash away. Lei Yen pops his mighty head up as well. Gets the stun. And that's a bit of hope from the wrong members of IG. As Lei Yen will drop. Huan Fung is looking for his first kill. Second kill of the game, rather. As Southwind oh, goes through. He goes golden. Rookie turns back around. And Chaos, their middle name, apparently. Here, the side of Rookie... And he jumps forward, oh. Chains of Corruption lands. That's going to be a shutdown, but a trade away. What the heck is happening here? Flash picked up by Angel. He used it. He's back in. Teleport being used. Sword Art coming in as well. Angel low. Everyone dead. And that was the biggest IG play I've seen in a while. And what's going on in this game? We just <laughs> are flashing back and forth, camera to camera. We see IG abusing their mid lane pressure from their matchup. Going for this really deep dive on the Sooning. Can you imagine that the Shy is the most calm member out of the whole team? I've never said that before. <laughs> Let's have a look what happened top. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> and it, again, we talked about Bin does have a bit of a reputation of being a very strong individual player and does like to try to outplay in these situations. Maybe it's redemption here. Equalizer down with the Dominus Renekton, but the damage coming through is pretty large. The Shy getting close to overheating, but Bin has the damage available and he gets it. That's a bit of feedback here for the Shy. Bin feels great now. He just made a huge <laughs> mistake, was probably kind of feeling like an idiot, but comes in, gets the solo kill onto a former world champion, and been looking great on this Renekton. Yeah, he's 4-2-1. <laughs> you got to say something good, because right now, Suning is still behind that 3, 4,000 gold. And the first dragon of the game goes over to IG, while Bin says turret plating up for 10 more seconds. Don't mind if I do. Will he get it? 5, 4, 3, 2. He's got it. 320 gold for the croc. So hopefully, slowing down, talking about what both teams want to do right now. IG, again, have consistent pressure in the mid lane with this 5-1-3 and three Jace. They're at a point now where they have a very strong skirmishing bot lane. Abuses pressure. Look, ooh. You wanted to slow down there. On to Puff once again. Southwind stands in front. Lei Yang comes in for the flank. Two-man ulti from Southwind was beautiful. Double kill over to Lei Yang. Tempo continues. Southwind's Braum was beautiful in week one. Southwind's Braum is still beautiful. Huge ultimate coming out from him. And Lei Yen picking up some nice kills with this Nidalee. And hang on. Hang on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Good turret dive, question mark. Angel's going to have to disappear in the main, mid lane meanwhile. It's two kills for IG. It's one for Sooning in the top lane. And Rookie, two levels ahead of Angel, is trying to flirt with danger once again. Maybe that's on the side of... Angel this game. We do see IG starting to head up towards the top lane. 
probably looking for a play towards that Rift Herald. So but you were telling me, hang on, oh come on, disappear. You were telling me about wind conditions before. Would you like to, hang on, no. would you like to continue? <laughs> wind conditions for IG are yeah. to outskill their opponents. Ah, so IG wind conditions. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people out there, they go, well, you talk about IG quite a lot. Guys, this is kind of the reason why. This, this series is, very is why. Much, this is an IG series. And w when we say that, we mean that IG, the, their ability to flirt with danger, to take the risks, know the risks, and do the play anyway. That's an IG series, and that's what this has become. They've got full objective control. They're outskilling their opponents. And Leian actually having a pretty good showing on this in Italy. Is Look at what Rookie's doing right now. What is this? The Shy's coming in. The solo lanes are coming in hot. Equalizer down. He still hasn't shown himself. Look, one five sec. I'm safe. <laughs> I'm safe, but no. Rookie is behind him. The flash onto Sword Art. He pops him into the Shy. And Sword Art will flash away. But how far can he run? They did this exact same thing against Top Esports two weeks ago, one week ago, and they're doing it again here today. This oh, Rumble no. Jace combo. Oh, ooh. Oh, turret. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. I don't know why I said ooh in amazement. All I did was press W. <laughs> oh, the power of Varus. All right, Puff gets a bit from that as well. But And this is when IG's comp really spikes. We see one to two lethality items coming in on Jason Varus. The Rumble has his Leandri setting him up for those madness stacks. So you feel really great as IG right now to just constantly force these plays and ramp up this gold lead. Already it's 6,000 at 16 minutes. Four turrets to one as well. And look at SOFM. It's like, hello, peekaboo. Leian has found himself at least in. The kick away, but the Shy is here too. Equalizer almost available. The Shy uses it off a of cooldown and Juan Fong now walks into this madness as the Rakan comes in as well. First kill given over to Angel though. A one for one in despite of the situation. As a trouble bubble lands, sort out the flash over from Angel. Can he kill the Shy? The turnaround from the Rumble was close. But another kill to Angel who's trying to now carry this game Whoa. and dodges away from Puff with a nicely timed portal jump. Nice portal jump coming in and it's... SOFM seeing that last play from Rookie waiting in the brush saying, I can do that too. And then we see a really awkward equalizer coming out from the Shy. Turns out it was just a zoning equalizer so we could zone them into his flash flame splitter play. Did just end up to be a one for one though. Oh, actually one for two in the end, I think. The Shy died. And we also oh, lost. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. The Shy died. I think Layen died at the yep, start of that yep, play too. Layen died. So, hey, net zooning as our OP player was Rookie uh, and still is Rookie, actually. Night and day. From game one to game two, I think we can say here on this, Jace. This really exemplifies Rookie, the Shy, and IG's playstyle as a whole, where when they get ahead, it works so much they can just stomp through these games. And when when it doesn't work, like against E-Star, you make one mistake and keep your foot on the gas pedal, it just goes completely wrong. It does. Two items here on the side of Rookie while we do a bit of check as well, but Colonel says no. Colonel says it's time to look at stats once again. Now, if anyone wondering what this is, this is the chance, the, the odds that Colonel says that X team will win. Colonel saying 72%. And I trust KFC with my chicken, but this game ain't over just yet. Because Sooning, even though 5k goal behind looking for plays, that's where FM is getting burnt though. The overheating rumble doesn't have much to play with, and the Shy walks into the face of death, but not in a good way. The Shy just walking somewhere where he really shouldn't. We don't see any members of Sooning on the map right now, and Zoe is pushing the top lane. Walks in the jungle, three members are there, but IG are getting so much on the opposite side of the map. And they push fast. They push fast with this chase and this accelerated virus. Is an open inhibitor now waiting for This them. is just like game one. We saw this exact play just with Rift Herald before. And Sooning are slow to work and move around it. SOFM tried to go in with the help of the support there. The exhaust goes down onto Rookie. And, and Sooning just have to back away. Well, rather IG. That was really confusing. We see Sooning just completely give up their bot lane. Decide, Hello. hey, we found Ooh, the shy. <laughs> He's, he wants to be near Dragon. Or no, maybe. he wants to get a pick on the Juanfo. <laughs> course sorry 29 kills how dare i think it's objective control the shy working into a choke you think it's objective control in an ig game <laughs> no way i'm sorry what a stupid thing for me to say cloud lift crowd cloud rift by the way as my tongue decides to curl up into a ball 20 minutes in 
And the Shire after the TP now finally finds the ult he was looking for. Sword Art moves into it and half health be the bottom lane of Sooning. I also just want to highlight the Shy's build, which it actually isn't showing right now. Which nah, because we got beer. But there <laughs> there we go. We see Leandri's, we see a needlessly large rod, Seeker's Arm Guard, and an amplifying tome. Looks very undecided on where he wants to go next. Does he want to go for the Zanyas? Does he maybe want to pick up an Oblivion Orb, go towards the Death Cap? But I know you're happy about this. Last time we saw the Shy on Rumble against E-Star, we saw first item Morellonomicon. It's not, it's right, it's not even about the Morello in this case. <laughs> it's about that Leandri's just fits so well with Rumble's yeah, kit. I and agree. it's probably the strongest first item power spike you can get. As one of the best Rumbles in China here, uh, I would agree with that. You, you didn't think, yeah, no, I was talking about you. That's okay. I know you've been spamming that Rumble. And I know that rookie's been doing the same here with the Jace. Do not face check against this team. IG will kill you. Well, not going to connect. Now, look on the side of IG, just waiting around this brush. They're pushing mid as a five-man unit. And Puff says, I can do the same damage as a Zoe. And he's right. And look at that. Equalizer. Angel burning and dead. Poke, poke, poke. IG, poke you dead. And Suni just looks so caught off guard. We saw SOFM waiting around the bot lane, expecting to pick someone off with Bin. But <coughs> now he's... peek a -boo. I keep expecting there to be some kind of like crazy dangerous team fight and we just get poke and siege. We just get poke and siege. Which is what IG's comp is meant to do. So they're doing it right, you're saying. And now that Angel's 10 seconds away, maybe something can happen, but Sooning getting poked out by Rocky. That's why he received a bit of extra praise this game. Six and one here on the Jace. A third to to Dirk. Are IG trying to end this? No. First Nexus turret, the flash comes through, chains of corruption, Puff survives, a double flash out. As now with the Brom layered ultimate, Bin's looking to go in. The Shy has to force his way away as Lei Yen flashes onto the croc. They kill him. And now they're onto Huan Fong and Angel and SOFM. This series could just be over right now as Equalizer lay it on top. IG run forward because that's all they know how to do. And Sooning while challenging them here in game number two. It feels like this is the way to go. A kill does go back to Huan Fong, so maybe not yet. Lei Yen without any mana. He'll die too, and it's not over yet. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Angel's going to get Southwind too. He'll take a triple. These two series with the same endings. An exposed Nexus at three quarters health. I don't know how to explain what just happened. IG did, you're right, the exact same thing. This time the ace was just quicker though. IG actually following the wind conditions of their composition, going for that poke and siege all the way up until the Nexus. But that timers still aren't very long right now. We're only 23 minutes into the game. Suiting did have time to respawn. And IG just trying to over push their getting punished, but still, Suiting are so far behind, they really can't get anything back on the map. No, they can't. All they can do is push these waves. And as you were mentioning, you know, for the side of IG, they're all back up and available now as well. And so we begin again. Still the 4K gold lead that we've seen this entire game with 41 kills in 23 minutes. And IG in front of the face of Baron say, let's go. IG should feel very confident in baiting this. They do have two inhibitors in mid and bot. And another interesting thing, we see the Shy went towards the Spellbinder on Rumble. With all the spells that are coming out on the side of IG, look, it's already stacked up to 15. This is not a build you typically see. This is not a build you no. really ever see. The Shy getting getting a bit more oh, movement speed. Oh, no. Okay. Well, Sword Art just wants to face, face danger. And that could just be game. IG, with the numbers advantage, let's walk mid again. Let's tango. IG walking mid, not really. The Shy not going to be able to use this Spellbinder. He's not going to get the 100 stacks before it looks like the game's going to end. But he's got 45. He just used them. Fast rumble coming at you. Equalizer. Oh. Really nice down. Bin with the last play here as a Brom multi goes down on SOFM to get the flank, but not successful. Angel gets poked out as well. And with the damage that comes through, IG have just been playing around. The Shy's still going to die, but in front of the Nexus, now it's just time to hit it away. Bin with the defense duty as Lei Yan jumps in, and that'll be all she wrote from IG and Sooning. 